Tuesday shop talk, everybody. Um, I didn't get around to that uh, BPS axe, camp axe, compact camp axe. I didn't get to that. I brought this uh, QSP canary to throw it and didn't get to that. And I brought the QSP canary folder to show how cool. I got these in, these come in a lot of colors right here. A lot of fun to uh, collect. Uh, this one I used a lot in my left pocket. But there you see the fixed blade and the folder. And they make a, uh, a neck knife canary. That might be one uh, I could look into. They're fantastic. We got action right here. That neck knife would be a nice little uh, addition to my QSP knives. I love them. I love them. Okay, today I showed you this this morning. I, uh, for those who didn't see it, I tweaked it out last night. I put an extra eyelet right here. Got a little dirty there. I was wearing it this morning. Yep, I was wearing it. Uh, put a little eyelet right here. I didn't have it there last night. I only had these three. So, very comfortable to carry. Nice clip right there. And again, that's this, this that eye filled. Uh, they call it a bushcraft camp knife. And I believe it. I mean, you could strike a fire with it and everything. I planned it on, on uh, doing some, uh, some, uh, it's a lot back, Steve some little demonstrations on the uh the bps axe compact axe and this uh we are fire fire hazard it didn't rain today that kind of threw me all up i was scrambling on getting things done because i think the rain is coming so i didn't get too much time back here although i did slip in some little things i did make a slip i just used the black and uh i found another brother I got, I saw another brother in there too. I got another brother lot back and some brother folders. This is a lot back. Brother knives. I absolutely love all their knives. Every one of them. Their fixed blades are fantastic. So I made a little uh, slip for this. That's a nice, this right here to me is a really great size to carry in your pocket. I mean, you just drop that down, any pocket. It won't be in your way, but it's there. You know what I mean? Nice and soft. I like fidgeting with them. Okay, so I did that. Then I got into, uh, I did, this is about the best I can do. This thing was, uh, it didn't come out like my other ones, but this was pretty pitted. This is pretty pitted. Uh, let me do this. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was cleaning up stuff outside too. Okay. Okay, now I'm looking at it because I got away from it uh, for a while. This is really old and you can tell by the uh, the scales. But this is cool. This is a Sears Craftsman uh, camp knife, scout knife. Made in USA. I got all the blades open because I cleaned it. Didn't come out too bad, did it? Check out, look at that Sears Craftsman plate. So it was a little bit more pitted than my last ones. I was, you never know what you're gonna get. And then that micarta, not micarta, after you start cleaning it. But you know what? It came out pretty damn good. And that's got some, this is vintage. This is vintage. I forgot what year this was i will find out and let y'all know but right here it says let's put that in i'm trying to keep it open because i just cleaned up the inside this is uh craftsman usa and da 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 there's a number on it that's the number i'll look at and find out what year but yeah that came out pretty good i think and everything just uh locks in snaps Going to, going to polish it. Get fingerprints on it. Anyway, that came out pretty good. Uh, 
that side's better. This is this has been worn. This is vintage. So I worked mainly on that one, and then I got into the little fixed blades. I didn't get into this one. I didn't do that one, and I did start this one. I got it to where I can read the numbers. So you can see I got a little little shine going on. This thing actually is functional. I could change this to a leather sack if I wanted to. But this says right here, I got it to where we can read them. And check out the uh, the sheath. It came out pretty nice. Okay. This is uh, EC. Uh, Solids in Germany. 59X. So... It was pretty rust. It's pretty rusted and pitted. I probably won't be able to do too much to it, other than that. Do a little sharpening. But I think it came out pretty nice. I probably won't do too much more on that. Uh, I'm just thrilled to have it done. Uh, after all these years, you know, and it was handed down to me, so I think I can put that one back. Be done with it. I'll put this in my collection with the uh, scout knife, camping knives that I got going that restoration that came out really nice sears craftsman i'm really pleased with that okay and now for the knife that my dad had when he was a kid sheath came out pretty nice i got the uh see the snaps got it polished up a little bit kind of uh put that conditioner on the leather darkened it up quite a bit and there you go needs reprofiling but you know what when I was doing this I was actually remembering days when I had it out in the woods as a kid yep and that's when I felt like he I was growing up when he handed me this. You know what I mean? It's like your first rifle you get. Okay, let me read it to you. This is what people are asking. Okay, on this side it says K3. Now, I know these things aren't worth anything, but they worth a lot to me. I won't sell them. Okay, this says Westcut, uh, Boulder, Colorado, made in USA. Okay. Look at that. Came out pretty good, didn't it? You can read that and on this side there's the k3 and yeah if you see if you, if you say somebody really butchered that when they sharpened it that was me yep i can't remember i i think i took back in the day i think i went in my dad's toolbox i'm serious i think i took a file does that would that make sense yeah that came out pretty good, didn't it? I think I'm going to leave that well enough alone. I think it, it's a story. Uh, I think my mom will freak out when she sees these, too. So these are done. And I'll get to this one next. Uh, this, I feel like, is a little bit cheaper. Not sure. Not sure. This has an Indian on it. That help, in fact, can tell you anything. It has an Indian uh, chief, Indian chief on the leather, and this has a deer. That leather came out nice there. And then this, uh, this was awesome. This actually had some paint on it. I was trying to remember what color our houses were. You just really, when you get into cleaning these uh, restorations, it's a whole different ball game from the scales. Uh, respect to those that do this. It's a lot of detailed work. Uh, but how rewarding is that? I mean, check that out. Y'all didn't get a real good picture of it this morning. Uh, yeah, it has, some, it has some roughness to it. Not one of the verse I come across, but yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, and then, uh, as y'all know, I retired my Spotted Coat Tenacious. It's in a safe place, and this is my carry for the day. This is my carry. This is my everyday carry. This is the Buck 112 Ranger Sport. 
okay? I can't believe how uh, it's lightweight, that aluminum. Okay, I really have nothing to show uh, up close and personal. So I might go into my... Uh, I might go into my... I'm talking to you, I'm sorry. My saw drawer. Maybe pull out one that has some bling to it. Okay, y'all stay safe. And uh, I'm going to get inside. I got to vacuum. And I got to clean up the bathroom. I put in that recessed mirror. Yeah, I see y'all. Sigh out.